Hey folks, Guns Gear on Target Training out here in Oregon. Today we're going to be talking about a really fine bolt action 22 by Savage Arms. This is the Mark II TRRSR. The TRRSR is set up really to be a lower cost but very accurate 22 bolt gun. The barrel length is 22 inches. The barrel has some fluting in it. It is made of hard carbon steel. The muzzle has been threaded to allow the attachment of a suppressor. And that is a feature that I really like. If you have a suppressor, you want to have guns that you can shoot that suppressor with. So the TRR SR is set up right out of the box with that in mind. Now you will note this particular gun you see in front of you has a different configuration than what you see if you go online and look up TRR SR. And that's because the gun actually comes with a different rail system on the front. It comes with a rail system that looks like this that has picatinny rails on either side so you can attach an optic on top and attach if you want a light or a laser or whatever fancy tactical stuff you want to do on your 22 rifle for me i didn't like the way it looked i didn't like the way it felt so close to the bolt where you have all this extra stuff that didn't feel right to me and it didn't feel natural I also just thought it ruined the elegance of the gun as it is without that. Folks, if you enjoy our content, please like the video, subscribe, share it with friends and family, and invite them to subscribe as well. The TRR SR, to me, is really set up right out of the box, ready to go. It has what Savage calls their Accu Trigger System which allows, it is user adjustable. This trigger breaks right around two pounds, which is perfect for its intended purposes for me. And it's a very short, crisp trigger. It will get even better. I've only put 200 rounds through the gun at this point, uh, but I can tell you that it's a great trigger right out of the box. And for me, triggers, as long with fit and feel and sights, are really what I care about. Uh, to me, a great trigger makes all the difference in the world. And so the triggers in every Savage bolt gun that I own are really exceptional for a just stock from the factory trigger. I really, really like them. The gun is not lightweight. It shouldn't be. It's 7.85 pounds unloaded, but it is very well balanced. You have a hardwood, what they call their sniper or tactical stock. I, I, I don't really know what it's called. But anyway, it really works well. And it's, I, again, quite elegant looking in my opinion. As I mentioned, I changed the rail system on top. So I can just went with a very low profile, simple pick rail that allowed me to tat, attach this particular Nikon. I think it's a 3 by 9 the bolt, very smooth, and has an oversized or a large handle, which makes it very easy to find and work. The safety systems on this bolt gun, really simple. Obviously, finger is the most important safety you have. Keep it off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. On target, on trigger, off target, off trigger. Credit to that goes to my good friend, Gregory Cruz, uh, out in Rhode Island. So the safety is managed simply by pressing the safety forward to disengage or pressing it back to re-engage. It has a visual cue for those who still may be struggling with that. If the red is showing, that means the gun is capable of firing if there is a round in the chamber. So simple to operate, nice, comfortable place. I tend to shoot this rifle with my hand up here rather than wrapped around. It just tends to fit that way. That allows me access to the bolt. But 
the safety in this position is very, very easy for me to access. The gun comes with a five round magazine. I happen to feel that five rounds is not enough. I don't like to having to keep loading <laughs> more rounds uh, with one magazine. So I have lots of five round magazines. I have several 10 round magazines as well, also made by Savage Arms, and recently purchased a 20 round magazine. This is an aftermarket part. Of, purchased a couple of these. They have an actual loading tool that makes it a little bit easier, but after 10 rounds into this magazine, even with the loading tool, it's not easy to do. Now, one of the things that most of you know, but if you want to essentially train your springs, load the magazine essentially up to whatever its capacity is, minus two. So in that case, that would be 18 rounds. So I loaded 18 rounds, let it sit for 24 hours, unload it, reload 18 rounds and let it sit again for another 24 hours or so. You do that two or three times, we'll begin to train the springs and make the springs a little easier. So that's uh, a look at their magazines. We have the five, 10, both of these magazines are from Savage and then the aftermarket 20. We shot yesterday, we put about 200 rounds through it and it was a typical, Oregon day in April, where it was about 42 degrees. There were uh, rain squalls that came through there. Some of those rain squalls carried hail, um, windy. So not the perfect day for shooting a precision rifle, trying to really dial in and get tight groups. I was able to get one uh, group. Most of them were about an you know, a half inch to an inch. I was able to get one group where basically all four shots were touching, so it was a quarter inch group. And I think I could have done better under better conditions and perhaps using something than the improvised press that you see here where I've got a toolbox and on top of that tool box, I've got a uh, actual rest that's designed, but it wasn't perfect. Still, I was able to get pretty good results. Shooting this gun with a suppressor, and here you'll see the Banish 22 can on the gun, is just a joy. Subsonic ammunition, like any of the standard velocity ammunition out there, uh, is <laughs> very, very quiet, and no concussion, no crack, it's just fantastic. So if you don't have a suppressor, get one. It's worth the bit of hassle you have to go through to get one, but they're really fantastic. I've owned a couple of different Savage bolt guns, and every time I buy one or acquire one, I'm just like, wow, what, what a great deal. So this retails for six and change, uh, but I've seen it also as low as, as 500 and change, and that's obviously without an optic, but you know, you could put a relatively inexpensive um, optic on there for 22. This is a Nikon uh, 3x7. Uh, which works very well. It's pretty clear glass and, you know, it's fine for my intended purposes. My only knock on the gun is this. I don't understand. I think they should offer it as an option that you could pay whatever, $10 for that, $20, whatever the number is, cut the price, the overall retail price of the gun and sell this as, as an accessory. I don't think they'd sell that many, frankly. Most people that I know that own this gun or have shot this gun say they don't like that and they swap it out, which is obviously what I did. Well, folks, that's a look at the Savage Arms Mark II TRRSR. Very fine bolt action gun. Good deal. Worth the value. Packed with a lot of exceptional features. Just an overall great deal. I really appreciate you watching. Finally, as always, Stay safe.